the horse racing abroad handicap is next naught to 90 and he's Alfredo at the top for Satyam Sandra Sagram going for a third win on the trot bravery Craig Beckwith Ponty B Martin Lidham Dagash Kite Derek Hinton Foxtail Alex Cherry Lucy Ive Owen Patrick Hogan Groom Me Grace Stu Gray Flintshire for Graham Clutterbuck Star Deli Alex Cherry and Crystal Falls for OB1 so a field of 10 and another long distance affair one and six this time and away they go and I guess the Satyam horse will come out into a lead they normally do and looks like Groomy Grey might be having ideas about taking the lead though the Stu Grey Grey and that one has indeed got off into the lead so new tactics for Satyam Dagash Kite is in second, Finch here is third, Ponty P is fourth. Ponty P well, was a winner in the first week of the season and has not been anywhere close since. Fox Tail is after that one. Uh, then Bravery and Crystal Falls. Lucy Ivo and Star Deli. And finally Aggies Alfredo. So groomy great. Well, your grand national commentator this year, that's a different code, but still's gonna be taking on the Grand National all by himself this season. I contacted it on my own last season. It's not a big deal anymore. There's only 25 runners or so and 40 and we used to have three of us commentating it. It was a bit of a laugh but uh, it's just a normal race now and uh, we'll Stu will cope with it pretty well but we'll concentrate on the flat for now and it's Groomy Grey in the lead from Ponty P in second. Flinch here is third and Dagash Kite is fourth, and Crystal Falls is after that one. And Lucy Ivo in with Foxtail and Star Deli towards the back for Alex Cherry. Groomy Great is travelling nicely in the lead, and Stu will no doubt be hoping that it's going to be like so many of those other horses today that have led all the way and stayed there. Dagash Kite and Ponty P are closing, so to Flinch here. After that one, Lucy Ivo in, and then Star Deli, Crystal Falls is next. And then Bravery, back is Alfredo, and Foxtail, the back two. Has the handicapper got to Satya? Caught up with him. And it's Groomy Grey in front from Flinch here in second. And Ponty P, then Dagash Kite, and Lucy Ivo in, Star Deli. He's the one who's made up some good ground from the back. Bravery being hurried along a little bit. Back three of Crystal Falls, Aggies Alfredo and Fox Tail. But Groomy Great is still in front by two with a little over three furlongs to go. And he's gone for home that one. You can tell he's just up the ante and he's good two and a half clear of Bravery who's now pulled out into second and looks a big danger. Then Lucy Ivo and Ponty P. Then comes Flinch here. Dagash Kite's got himself trapped into a pocket. Star Deli is running on around the outside but Groomy Grey is battling on in the lead. Groomy Grey in front then from Bat Bravery in second. Lucy Ivo is in third. They're racing up towards the final furlong and Groomy Grey is finally been swapped by Lucy Ivo in and Bravery. Bravery's in the lead. Lucy Ivo is between these two now as they call towards one. It's going to be another head bobber. It's Lucy Ivoin on the far side, I think he's going to take it. Ponty P's finishing like an absolute train, but too late. And Lucy Ivoin takes it. And that's a winner for Patrick Hogan, I think. And won it quite comfortably in the end. Ponty P was finishing well, but too late. Lucy Ivoin the winner for Padraig Hogan. Bravery second for Craig Beckwith. Ponty P for Martin Lennon was third. Flinch here for Ponty Pool Racing was fourth. And Star Deli for Alex Cherry was fifth.